Welcome back to the Health Benefits Hub channel. Get ready for an eye-opening journey through the impacts of sugar overload on your kidneys and liver. This comprehensive guide doesn't hold back. We kick things off by delving into the addictive nature of sugar, lurking in most processed foods. Then, brace yourself as we uncover how sugar wreaks havoc on your kidney and liver health. From exploring its role in metabolic syndrome to investigating its ties to insulin resistance and type 2 diabetes, we leave no stone unturned. But that's not all, we'll also dive into chronic kidney disease CKD and unveil how excessive sugar consumption fuels its development and progression. The addictive nature of sugar. The food we consume isn't merely sustenance for our bodies. It's a dynamic force that shapes every facet of our existence. From the intricate balance of our hormones to the intricate workings of our brain chemistry, immune defenses, and microbiome, what we choose to eat resonates throughout our being, influencing our health and well-being in multifaceted ways. As discerning consumers, we are entitled to full transparency regarding the nutritional composition of the foods we consume, particularly concerning ingredients like sugar, which wield significant repercussions when indulged in excess. Picture a world where we possess the effortless ability to decode the nutritional intricacies of every product lining the grocery store shelves, empowering us to make enlightened choices that safeguard our health. This vision propels forward-thinking researchers in the realms of functional medicine, longevity, artificial intelligence, and nutrition, all tirelessly striving to redefine our relationship with food and its profound impact on our bodies. While commendable strides such as the FDA's push for mandatory front-of package labeling for packaged foods are underway, the urgency of their implementation cannot be overstated. The well-being of millions hangs in the balance. Consider this alarming statistic. Despite the FDA's recommendation for adults to restrict added sugar intake to 50 grams per day based on a 2,000-calorie diet, the average American annually consumes over 100 pounds of sugar, equating to nearly one-third of a pound daily. With such staggering consumption rates, it's little wonder that nearly half of American adults find themselves grappling with either diabetes or pre-diabetic conditions. Yet, the insidious nature of sugar lies in its stealth infiltration of processed foods under myriad aliases, thwarting efforts to monitor and regulate our intake effectively. From seemingly innocuous staples like salad dressings and yogurt to unexpected culprits like baked beans, sugar stealthily permeates our diets, often evading our detection. Compounding this issue is the addictive allure of sugar, purported to be eight times more addictive than cocaine, ensnaring us in a relentless cycle of cravings and consumption. Breaking free from this detrimental cycle necessitates a concerted effort towards cultivating awareness and making informed choices. However, in the absence of clear and readily accessible food labeling, countless shoppers unwittingly perpetuate their own entanglement in the web of sugar addiction. The time for change is upon us, the transformative shift that empowers consumers to seize control of their health narrative and liberate themselves from the clutches of sugar dependency. In numerous countries, the role of packaged food labels mirrors that of warning labels on cigarette cartons to caution consumers about potential health risks. Take Chile, for example, where the implementation of high-in labels prominently displayed on sugary drinks significantly slashed their consumption rates. Likewise, in Israel, a front-of-package labeling initiative utilizing red labels to denote items high in sugar has sparked notable shifts in the food purchasing habits of 76% of the population. The impact of such programs is palpable, and the prospect of a similar undertaking in the US is met with eager anticipation. However, not everyone welcomes these front-of-package changes with open arms. Predictably, those lobbying against such reforms often have vested interests in maintaining the popularity of their products. Case in point, in a joint filing in February 2023, the nation's largest cereal producers threatened legal action when proposed alterations would restrict their ability to label products as healthy unless they met stringent nutritional criteria. Such proposed changes would rightfully bar many cereals laden with excess sugar from masquerading as healthy choices. This narrative echoes the paradigm shift witnessed in cigarette advertising during the 20th century. Recall the infamous Camel Cigarettes campaign of the 1940s boasting the slogan, More Doctors Smoke Camels. Fast forward to 1969, and mandatory warning labels grace cigarette packages, granting consumers clearer insights into the associated health risks and empowering them to make more informed decisions about their well-being. 
The outcome, a drastic decline in smoking rates, with only 11% of Americans lighting up compared to nearly 50% during the camel era. Notably, life expectancy soared by nearly 11 years during this period, and the reduction in smoking undoubtedly played a pivotal role in this remarkable feat. Such historical precedents underscore the transformative potential of informed decision-making and transparent labeling practices in safeguarding public health and shaping healthier lifestyles. While implementing front-of-package labeling on packaged foods marks a pivotal initial stride towards fostering a healthier society, relying solely on education and awareness will only take us part of the way. To enact substantial change in the dietary habits of most Americans, a change that promises a healthier populace, we must also incentivize the production and widespread availability of healthier alternatives. Picture this, a packaged cookie crafted from wholesome ingredients that rivals its sugar-laden counterparts in taste and accessibility. Such alternatives hold the potential to revolutionize our food landscape, offering consumers nutritious options without sacrificing flavor or convenience. Enter the recent standards unveiled by the U.S. Department of Agriculture USDA, which aim to curtail added sugars in school meals. This progressive move not only holds promise for shaping healthier eating habits among children but also sets a precedent for enhancing the availability of wholesome alternatives. Yet, while these measures lay a crucial foundation, they represent merely the first step in our journey towards national wellness. Front of package labeling serves as a vital tool in this endeavor, empowering consumers with transparent insights into the sugar content of their food choices. By championing FDA leadership in ensuring the prominent labeling of high sugar contents in packaged foods, we can amplify awareness and mitigate the adverse effects of excessive sugar consumption, ultimately paving the way for healthier, more vibrant lives. Armed with this knowledge, individuals can make informed decisions that align with their health goals and well-being aspirations. We firmly believe that every American deserves the right to access clear and visible information about the sugar content of the foods they consume. Such transparency not only fosters a culture of informed decision-making but also spurs producers to innovate and prioritize the creation of healthier options for consumers. With concerted efforts and steadfast commitment to promoting healthier choices, we can collectively steer towards a future where wellness is within reach for all. Oh, a quick favor, we'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Effects of excessive sugar consumption on your liver and kidney. Excessive sugar consumption doesn't just affect your waistline. It can also wreak havoc on vital organs like the kidneys and liver. These essential organs play a crucial role in filtering waste products and excess fluids from the blood, maintaining electrolyte balance, and regulating blood pressure. However, when sugar intake exceeds recommended levels, it can lead to several detrimental effects on kidney function. Increased risk of diabetes. One of the most significant risk factors for kidney disease is diabetes, particularly type 2 diabetes, which is strongly associated with high sugar consumption. Elevated blood sugar levels over time can damage the small blood vessels in the kidneys, impairing their ability to effectively filter waste from the blood. Hypertension High Blood Pressure Excessive sugar intake can also contribute to hypertension, or high blood pressure, another leading cause of kidney disease. High blood pressure can damage the blood vessels in the kidneys and reduce their ability to function properly, ultimately leading to kidney damage or failure. Kidney stones, diets high in sugar, especially fructose, can increase the risk of developing kidney stones. High sugar intake can lead to elevated levels of calcium, oxalate, and uric acid in the urine which are common components of kidney stones. These substances can crystallize and form stones in the kidneys, causing pain and potential complications. Increased inflammation. Sugar consumption has been linked to increased inflammation throughout the body, including in the kidneys. Chronic inflammation can damage kidney tissues and impair their function, contributing to the progression of kidney disease. Obesity and Metabolic Syndrome Sugary foods and beverages are often high in calories and low in nutrients, contributing to weight gain and obesity when consumed in excess. Obesity is a risk factor for kidney disease and can exacerbate existing kidney problems. Additionally, excessive sugar consumption is a key driver of metabolic syndrome, a cluster of conditions including high blood pressure, high blood sugar, abnormal cholesterol levels, and excess abdominal fat, all of which increase the risk of kidney disease. 
To safeguard kidney health, it's crucial to limit sugar intake and opt for a balanced diet rich in whole foods such as fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Drinking plenty of water and staying physically active can also support kidney function and overall well-being. If you have concerns about your kidney health or sugar consumption, consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice and guidance. Excessive sugar consumption can take a toll on your liver, one of the body's most vital organs responsible for numerous metabolic functions. Here's how too much sugar can affect the liver. Fatty liver disease. One of the most common liver conditions associated with excessive sugar intake is non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and AFLD. When you consume high amounts of sugar, especially fructose, the liver converts the excess sugar into fat. Over time, this can lead to the accumulation of fat in the liver, causing inflammation and scarring. An AFLD can progress from simple fatty liver to more severe conditions like non-alcoholic steatohepatitis NASH and eventually liver cirrhosis. Insulin resistance. High sugar intake can also contribute to insulin resistance, a condition in which the body's cells become less responsive to insulin signals. As a result, blood sugar levels remain elevated, putting extra strain on the liver to process glucose. Insulin resistance is closely linked to an AFLD and is a precursor to type 2 diabetes. Increased risk of type 2 diabetes. Chronic consumption of high levels of sugar can lead to the development of type 2 diabetes a condition characterized by elevated blood sugar levels. The liver plays a central role in regulating blood sugar levels by storing and releasing glucose as needed. When the liver becomes overwhelmed with excess sugar, it can impair its ability to maintain proper blood sugar balance, contributing to insulin resistance and diabetes. Inflammation Sugar consumption has been linked to increased inflammation throughout the body, including in the liver. Chronic inflammation can damage liver cells and contribute to the progression of liver disease. Risk of liver cancer. Prolonged exposure to high levels of sugar and insulin resistance may also increase the risk of developing liver cancer. Studies have shown that individuals with an AFLD are at a higher risk of liver cancer compared to those without the condition. To support liver health, it's essential to moderate sugar intake and focus on a balanced diet rich in whole foods such as fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Limiting processed foods and sugary beverages can help reduce the burden on the liver and lower the risk of liver-related complications. Regular exercise, maintaining a healthy weight, and avoiding excessive alcohol consumption are also important factors in maintaining liver health. If you have concerns about your liver health or sugar consumption, consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice and guidance. To safeguard the health of your kidneys and liver, it's crucial to limit sugar intake and opt for a balanced diet rich in whole foods such as fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and healthy fats. Drinking plenty of water, maintaining a healthy weight, and staying physically active can also support optimal kidney and liver function. If you have concerns about your kidney or liver health, consult with a healthcare professional for personalized advice and guidance. Metabolic syndrome is a complex condition characterized by a constellation of metabolic abnormalities, each acting as a risk factor for cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, and other serious health complications. One of the key drivers behind the development of metabolic syndrome is excessive sugar intake, particularly added sugars found in processed foods and sugary beverages. Excessive sugar consumption can lead to weight gain and obesity, which are central components of metabolic syndrome. When we consume high amounts of sugar, our bodies convert the excess into fat, particularly visceral fat stored around the abdomen. This visceral fat not only contributes to an increase in overall body weight but also triggers a cascade of metabolic changes, including insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is another hallmark of metabolic syndrome, where the body's cells become less responsive to the effects of insulin, a hormone responsible for regulating blood sugar levels. As a result, blood sugar levels remain elevated, leading to further insulin production by the pancreas. Over time, this chronic elevation in insulin levels can promote inflammation, disrupt lipid metabolism, and contribute to the development of abnormal lipid levels, such as high triglycerides and low HDL cholesterol. High blood pressure, or hypertension, is also commonly associated with metabolic syndrome and is often exacerbated by excessive sugar intake. 
the mechanisms linking sugar consumption to hypertension are multifaceted and may involve increased sodium retention, oxidative stress, and endothelial dysfunction, all of which can lead to elevated blood pressure levels. The cumulative effects of obesity, insulin resistance, abnormal lipid levels, and hypertension contribute to the increased risk of liver and kidney damage seen in individuals with metabolic syndrome. The liver may become overwhelmed by the constant influx of sugar and fats, leading to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD and its more severe forms, such as non-alcoholic steatohepatitis NASH. Similarly, the kidneys may suffer from the chronic effects of hypertension and insulin resistance, increasing the risk of kidney disease and renal complications. In summary, excessive sugar intake plays a significant role in the development of metabolic syndrome, a complex condition characterized by obesity, insulin resistance, abnormal lipid levels, and hypertension. These metabolic abnormalities not only increase the risk of cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes but also pose a threat to the health of the liver and kidneys. Highlighting the importance of reducing sugar consumption as part of a comprehensive approach to preventing metabolic syndrome and its associated complications. Type 2 diabetes is a chronic metabolic disorder characterized by high blood sugar levels resulting from insulin resistance and inadequate insulin production by the pancreas. The link between sugar consumption and the development of type 2 diabetes is well established, with excessive sugar intake playing a significant role in the onset and progression of the disease. When we consume foods high in sugar, particularly refined carbohydrates like sugary snacks, desserts, and sugary beverages, our blood sugar levels spike rapidly. In response, the pancreas releases insulin, a hormone that helps transport glucose from the bloodstream into cells to be used for energy. However, with chronic high sugar intake, our cells can become resistant to the effects of insulin, leading to a condition known as insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is a key precursor to type 2 diabetes, as it impairs the body's ability to regulate blood sugar levels effectively. As a result, blood sugar levels remain elevated, placing additional strain on the pancreas to produce more insulin. Over time, this prolonged exposure to high levels of insulin and glucose can lead to beta cell dysfunction in the pancreas, further exacerbating insulin resistance and contributing to the development of type 2 diabetes. Uncontrolled type 2 diabetes can have serious implications for liver and kidney health. The liver plays a central role in regulating blood sugar levels by storing and releasing glucose as needed. However, in individuals with uncontrolled diabetes, the liver may produce excess glucose, further elevating blood sugar levels and contributing to hyperglycemia. Persistent hyperglycemia can damage blood vessels and nerves throughout the body, including those in the kidneys. Over time, this can lead to diabetic kidney disease, also known as diabetic nephropathy, which is a common complication of type 2 diabetes. Diabetic nephropathy is characterized by damage to the small blood vessels in the kidneys, impairing their ability to filter waste products from the blood effectively. Left untreated, diabetic kidney disease can progress to end-stage renal disease, requiring dialysis or kidney transplantation. Similarly, uncontrolled diabetes can also increase the risk of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease NAFLD and its more severe form, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis NASH. Prolonged exposure to high levels of insulin and glucose can promote the accumulation of fat in the liver, leading to inflammation and liver damage. Without intervention, an AFLD and an ASH can progress to advanced liver disease, including cirrhosis and liver failure. In conclusion, the link between sugar consumption, insulin resistance, and the development of type 2 diabetes is well established. Uncontrolled diabetes can have serious implications for liver and kidney health increasing the risk of complications such as diabetic kidney disease and non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Therefore, it is essential to manage blood sugar levels through a combination of dietary modifications, physical activity, and medication to prevent or delay the onset of these complications and improve overall health outcomes for individuals with type 2 diabetes. Chronic kidney disease CKD is a progressive condition characterized by the gradual loss of kidney function over time. While multiple factors contribute to the development and progression of CKD, high sugar consumption has emerged as a significant risk factor with detrimental effects on kidney health. Impact on kidney function 
Excessive sugar consumption can directly impair kidney function by promoting the accumulation of advanced glycation and products AGS in the kidneys. AGS are compounds formed when sugar molecules attach to proteins in the body, leading to inflammation and oxidative stress. Over time, this process can damage the delicate structures within the kidneys, impairing their ability to filter waste products and maintain fluid and electrolyte balance. Inflammation Chronic consumption of high levels of sugar can also contribute to systemic inflammation, which plays a central role in the development and progression of CKD. Inflammatory mediators released in response to high sugar intake can damage kidney tissues and promote the deposition of scar tissue, further impairing kidney function. Formation of kidney stones. High sugar consumption, particularly fructose, can increase the risk of developing kidney stones. When we consume excess sugar, the kidneys filter out the sugar and excrete it in the urine. However, high sugar intake can lead to elevated levels of calcium, oxalate, and uric acid in the urine, which are common components of kidney stones. These substances can crystallize and form stones in the kidneys, causing pain and potential complications. Contribution to Metabolic Syndrome and Diabetes High sugar consumption is a key driver of metabolic syndrome and type 2 diabetes, both of which are significant risk factors for the development and progression of CKD. Metabolic syndrome, characterized by obesity, insulin resistance, abnormal lipid levels, and hypertension, can directly contribute to kidney damage. Similarly, uncontrolled diabetes can lead to diabetic kidney disease, a common complication of diabetes that can progress to end-stage renal disease if left untreated. In conclusion, high sugar consumption contributes to the development and progression of CKD through multiple mechanisms, including impaired kidney function, inflammation, and the formation of kidney stones. To safeguard kidney health, it is essential to moderate sugar intake and adopt a balanced diet rich in whole foods while limiting processed foods and sugary beverages. Additionally, Managing underlying conditions such as metabolic syndrome and diabetes is crucial for preventing or delaying the onset of CKD and improving overall kidney function and well-being. Inflammation and oxidative stress are two interconnected processes that play pivotal roles in the development and progression of liver and kidney damage induced by excessive sugar consumption. Understanding their impact and exploring interventions to mitigate these effects is crucial for protecting the health of these vital organs. Inflammation. Excessive sugar consumption triggers a cascade of inflammatory responses in the body, contributing to the development of chronic low-grade inflammation. In the liver, chronic inflammation can lead to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, NAFLD and its more severe form, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis NASH. Similarly, in the kidneys, inflammation can damage renal tissues and impair kidney function, ultimately leading to chronic kidney disease CKD. Oxidative stress. Oxidative stress occurs when there is an imbalance between the production of reactive oxygen species ROS and the body's antioxidant defenses. Excessive sugar consumption can increase oxidative stress levels, leading to cellular damage and dysfunction in the liver and kidneys. Oxidative stress contributes to the progression of liver and kidney diseases by promoting inflammation, fibrosis, and cell death. Mitigating effects. Several interventions can help mitigate the damaging effects of inflammation and oxidative stress caused by excessive sugar consumption. Dietary modifications. Adopting a diet rich in antioxidants, such as fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, can help neutralize ROS and reduce oxidative stress. Additionally, Reducing sugar intake and limiting the consumption of processed foods and sugary beverages can help alleviate inflammation and support liver and kidney health. Physical activity. Regular exercise has been shown to reduce inflammation and oxidative stress levels in the body. Incorporating aerobic exercise, strength training, and flexibility exercises into your routine can help improve liver and kidney function and reduce the risk of associated complications. Supplementation. Certain supplements, such as vitamin C, vitamin E, and omega-3 fatty acids, have antioxidant properties and may help reduce inflammation and oxidative stress. However, it's essential to consult with a healthcare professional before starting any supplementation regimen. Stress management. Chronic stress can exacerbate inflammation and oxidative stress levels in the body. Practicing stress-reducing techniques such as meditation, yoga, deep breathing exercises, 
and mindfulness can help mitigate these effects and promote overall well-being. In conclusion, inflammation and oxidative stress are key mechanisms underlying liver and kidney damage caused by excessive sugar consumption. By adopting a healthy lifestyle that includes a balanced diet, regular exercise, stress management, and targeted supplementation, individuals can mitigate the detrimental effects of inflammation and oxidative stress, protect liver and kidney health, and reduce the risk of associated complications. Healthy eating habits play a crucial role in promoting liver and kidney health, and reducing sugar intake is a cornerstone of a balanced diet. Here are some practical tips and strategies to help you minimize sugar consumption and adopt healthier eating habits that support liver and kidney function. Meal Planning Plan your meals ahead of time to ensure you have nutritious options readily available. Include a variety of whole foods such as fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins, and healthy fats in your meals. Focus on incorporating colorful, nutrient-rich ingredients to maximize your intake of essential vitamins and minerals. Limit processed foods. Processed foods often contain added sugars and unhealthy fats, which can contribute to liver and kidney damage. Minimize your consumption of packaged snacks, sugary beverages, baked goods, and prepackaged meals, and opt for whole, unprocessed foods whenever possible. Read food labels. Take the time to read food labels and familiarize yourself with the various names for added sugars, such as sucrose, high fructose corn syrup, and dextrose. Pay attention to the sugar content per serving and aim to choose products with lower sugar content or no added sugars. Choose low glycemic foods. Foods with a low glycemic index G release glucose into the bloodstream more gradually, helping to stabilize blood sugar levels and reduce the risk of insulin resistance. Focus on incorporating low G foods such as beans, lentils, whole grains, non-starchy vegetables, and fruits like berries into your diet. Practice mindful eating. Pay attention to your body's hunger and fullness cues, and eat mindfully to avoid overeating or consuming excessive amounts of sugar. Slow down and savor each bite, and strive to eat meals in a relaxed environment free from distractions. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water throughout the day to support kidney function and help flush toxins from the body. Limit your intake of sugary beverages such as soda, sweetened iced tea, and energy drinks which can contribute to excess sugar consumption and dehydration. Cook at home. Prepare meals at home using fresh, whole ingredients whenever possible. Cooking allows you to control the ingredients and cooking methods used, reducing your exposure to added sugars and unhealthy fats commonly found in restaurant and takeout meals. Seek support. Surround yourself with a supportive network of friends, family, or healthcare professionals who can encourage and motivate you on your journey to adopting healthier eating habits. Consider joining a cooking class, nutrition workshop, or support group to learn new skills and stay accountable. By incorporating these practical tips and strategies into your daily routine, you can reduce sugar intake, adopt a balanced diet that supports liver and kidney health, and improve your overall well-being. Remember that small changes can lead to significant improvements over time, so start with manageable goals and gradually build upon your successes. Public health policies play a crucial role in addressing the growing epidemic of excessive sugar consumption and its associated health risks. By implementing targeted initiatives aimed at reducing sugar intake, governments can promote better health outcomes and mitigate the burden of chronic diseases such as obesity, type 2 diabetes, cardiovascular disease, and liver and kidney disorders. Here's how various public health policies can contribute to this effort. Sugar taxes. Sugar taxes also known as soda taxes or sugar-sweetened beverage taxes, are levies imposed on the sale of sugary drinks to discourage consumption and generate revenue for public health programs. By increasing the cost of sugary beverages, sugar taxes aim to reduce overall consumption, particularly among high-risk populations such as children and low-income individuals. Research has shown that sugar taxes can lead to meaningful reductions in sugary beverage consumption and may have positive impacts on population health outcomes, including reductions in obesity and related chronic diseases. Front of Package Labeling Front of Package Labeling initiatives aim to provide consumers with clear, easily understandable information about the nutritional content of packaged foods, including their sugar content. By prominently displaying key nutrition information such as sugar content, calories, and serving sizes on the front of food packaging, 
consumers can make more informed choices about their food purchases. This can help raise awareness about the health risks associated with excessive sugar intake and empower individuals to choose healthier options. Educational campaigns. Educational campaigns are another important tool for raising awareness about the health risks of excessive sugar consumption and promoting healthier dietary choices. These campaigns may include public service announcements, social media campaigns, school-based programs, and community outreach initiatives. By providing individuals with evidence-based information about the health consequences of consuming too much sugar and practical tips for reducing sugar intake, educational campaigns can empower individuals to make healthier choices for themselves and their families. Regulation of marketing to children. Children are particularly vulnerable to the influence of marketing, which often promotes sugary foods and beverages high in added sugars. Public health policies aimed at regulating marketing to children can help reduce children's exposure to unhealthy food and beverage advertisements, thereby promoting healthier dietary habits from a young age. Restrictions on advertising of sugary products in schools, on children's television programming, and through digital media platforms can help create environments that support healthy eating behaviors among children and adolescents. In conclusion, Public health policies and initiatives aimed at reducing sugar consumption are essential for addressing the global health challenges associated with excessive sugar intake. By implementing policies such as sugar taxes, front of package labeling, educational campaigns, and regulation of marketing to children, governments can create environments that support healthier dietary choices and promote better health outcomes for individuals and communities alike. These efforts are critical for preventing and managing chronic diseases and reducing the burden of diet-related health disparities in populations around the world. Nutritional labeling plays a pivotal role in empowering consumers to make informed decisions about their food purchases and promoting healthier dietary choices. By providing clear and transparent information about the nutritional content of packaged foods, Nutritional labeling enables individuals to assess the healthfulness of food products and make choices that align with their dietary preferences and health goals. Here's how nutritional labeling contributes to improved health outcomes, including liver and kidney health. Understanding nutritional content. Nutritional labels provide detailed information about the macronutrient and micronutrient content of foods, including the amount of calories, fat, carbohydrates, protein, sugar, fiber, vitamins, and minerals per serving. This information allows consumers to assess the nutritional quality of foods and make comparisons between products to choose options that are lower in added sugars, unhealthy fats, and sodium, and higher in essential nutrients. Managing sugar intake. Clear and transparent labeling of sugar content is particularly important for individuals looking to manage their sugar intake and reduce the risk of chronic diseases such as obesity, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. By highlighting the amount of added sugars in packaged foods, nutritional labels help consumers identify products with high sugar content and make healthier choices that support liver and kidney health. Promoting portion control. Nutritional labels also provide information about serving sizes and the number of servings per container, helping consumers understand appropriate portion sizes and practice portion control. This is important for preventing overconsumption of calories, sugar, and other nutrients that can contribute to weight gain, insulin resistance, and metabolic disorders that negatively impact liver and kidney health. Encouraging healthier choices, clear and transparent nutritional labeling can influence consumer behavior and encourage the selection of healthier food options. Studies have shown that when nutritional information is readily available and easy to understand, consumers are more likely to choose foods that are lower in calories, saturated fat, and added sugars, and higher in fiber, vitamins, and minerals. This shift towards healthier eating patterns can have positive effects on overall health outcomes, including liver and kidney health, supporting dietary diversity. Nutritional labeling can also promote dietary diversity and the consumption of a balanced diet that includes a variety of nutrient-rich foods. By providing information about the nutritional content of different food products, nutritional labels enable individuals to make choices that contribute to a well-rounded diet rich in essential nutrients that support liver and kidney function, such as antioxidants, vitamins, and minerals. 
Clear and transparent nutritional labeling plays a critical role in helping consumers make informed choices about their food purchases and promoting healthier eating habits that support liver and kidney health. By providing detailed information about the nutritional content of packaged foods, nutritional labels empower individuals to manage their sugar intake, practice portion control, make healthier choices, and maintain a balanced diet that supports overall health and well-being. Excessive sugar consumption has profound effects on liver and kidney health, leading to a range of detrimental outcomes. High sugar intake contributes to the development of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and AFLD and its more severe forms, such as non-alcoholic steatohepatitis NASH, by promoting the accumulation of fat in the liver and triggering inflammation. This can progress to liver fibrosis, cirrhosis, and liver failure over time. Additionally, Chronic sugar consumption increases the risk of kidney damage by promoting inflammation, oxidative stress, and the formation of kidney stones. Conditions such as chronic kidney disease CKD and diabetic kidney disease can result from prolonged exposure to high levels of sugar. Public health policies, such as sugar taxes, front of package labeling, and educational campaigns play a crucial role in addressing excessive sugar consumption and mitigating its impact on liver and kidney health. By implementing these interventions, governments can empower individuals to make healthier dietary choices and reduce the burden of chronic diseases associated with sugar consumption. If you found these insights enlightening, be sure to hit that like button, share with friends, and subscribe to our channel. We're committed to furnishing you with top-notch health tips and insights, ensuring your journey to wellness is not just informed but also enjoyable. Remember, every morsel you ingest holds the power to sculpt your health. Choose wisely, live well, and until our paths cross again, stay healthy and vibrant.